Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on this Three Sisters plot here that I'm, I'm trying out, okay? This is the first year I've tried this, but basically, if you're not familiar with it, Three Sisters is planting corn with beans and then squash, okay? They all three work together to help each other. The corn act as a trellis for the beans to climb up. The beans are nitrogen fixers, so they put nitrogen back into the ground, which then helps feed the corn and also the squash. And the squash, when they get big enough, will cover the entire area and act as like a living mulch, keeping uh, weeds down and cooling the soil. In fact, let me show you over here. I've got a squash plant that has already grown. You can see just how much that covers. I mean, there's almost no light getting in down below and it will keep weeds down and like I said, cool that soil. So that's what those do. So all three will benefit each other. However, I want to give you guys an update because I am noticing a couple things that I wish I knew before I started this. So the first one is, check this out. These are not quite tall enough yet to, for this to start going up. But take a look, it's already going around. You can see here, this one, it's going around it. Uh, we've got the beans are just kind of starting to travel up already. This one is super long, as you guys can see. And the corn has not reached the height where I feel they won't get choked out. In fact, I've had to pull off some of the bean plants because they were wrapping around the top like this and closing it off. So I think I needed to wait just a little bit longer to plant the beans. So I planted the beans about three weeks, two, two weeks and five days, actually, I, I think it was, after I planted the corn. And the corn was maybe about six inches tall, five and a half inches tall at the time. And I thought that would be good because that's when you read online, that's, that's what it says. And so I planted away. And I think I needed to wait because they just haven't hit any kind of crazy height. This is Stowell's white corn, and it's a sweet variety, sweet corn. And it gets to eight foot tall, it should, um, although maybe it won't because um, our ground isn't all that great. I did try to amend it the best I could, but I am noticing a little bit of issues with that, with the timing. And then if you look, <laughs> the squash is just taking forever. Um, everything else is growing, and the squash are these tiny little little plants, and they're not doing much of anything. So. I think, I'm, in all honesty, I think we should be having that opposite. Plant the squash about two or three weeks past the, the corn and then plant the beans. Maybe give another, another week or two after that. So maybe a month after planting the corn is time to plant the beans. So I would say that's probably a little better timing, at least from what I'm noticing. So if you guys have tried this before, please let me know how it worked for you. Uh, maybe this will be just fine. Maybe the corn is about ready to hit a spurt, growth spurt here, and maybe it'll grow super tall real quick and outpace the beans. I don't really suspect that will happen though. Also, I've been adding a whole bunch of nitrogen fertilizer because I have noticed that the corn, it's not as dark green. You can see streaks of kind of lighter green, which make me think that it needs Need some nitrogen. I was adding fish fertilizer about once a week and it just wasn't enough, it needed more. So today I actually added some miracle Grow. So fish fertilizer is a five one one, so five uh, nitrogen and NPK ratio. The other water soluble fertilizer I've got is just miracle Grow. it's nothing organic, um, but uh, you know, it's, it's gonna work, it's gonna add nitrogen. And that is an 18, I believe, 18, 18 and 21. So, I mean, still a lot of potassium and phosphorus, which is good for them, uh, kind of keeps them healthy. I think I needed that extra nitrogen. The other thing I might do pretty soon here, uh, now this is mulched, it's gonna be a pain to pull back the mulch, but I could sprinkle some bone meal through here, right there, look at that. Right wrapped around and it's just kinda, it's gonna, it's gonna choke that, I think. Anyway, uh, I could sprinkle bone meal along here and then I could throw some mulch on top, some more mulch or some compost to be able to break down that blood meal. But uh, I'm, not, 
I'm not sure that's going to work or if that's something I, I really want to do. Probably should have done that a little earlier. Um, I did in this bed. And these are growing really quick. Look at how tall those are getting really fast too. They're growing lengthwise real tall. These kind of stayed stocky. Maybe they didn't get enough nitrogen in the beginning. Um, these do. These have a whole bunch of nitrogen in the soil. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. The best way to be able to add nitrogen. I think it's going to have to be a liquid soluble. You know, I, it's going to be tough. I, I know that people mound these. I, I'm probably not going to do that. I mulch this all up, especially since the beans are in there now. So if I mounded it, I could put some nitrogen rich fertilizer right in the troughs, mound up over. Uh, that would work, but I don't think it's going to work in this instance. So let me know what you guys think. Good options out there. Higher nitrogen than some other stuff uh, would really be great. Something that's not super expensive too. If you have any recommendations on the timing, if you guys have done this before, the timing that worked for you, or um, maybe the timing that didn't work for you if you notice the same issue I'm having, uh, or maybe this will be fine. Uh, maybe the corn have reached a point now that they're strong enough to be able to hold this up, but I, I, I think they need to be a little taller, honestly, now that these are starting to run. These runner pole beans are, are quick and vigorous, and I think they've already started their climbing, so might be might be too late for the corn. We'll see. We'll see how this works. I would I would probably rather pull the beans out and be able to harvest the corn. Anyway, well thanks for watching everyone. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you guys could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you guys in the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.